Today I'm sharing how I painted my Lord Imperiton with a painting guide and some lovely showcase pictures. The Lord Imperiton came with the Age of Sigma 3 launch box game called Dominion, which is no longer available. He is available in the Age of Sigma Extremis and Harbinger starter sets if you still want to grab one for yourself. I didn't have a reason to paint this model apart from he's been sat on my to-do shelf for a few months and I was starting to bug me so I thought it was about time to knock this out in a few days. I'm really happy with this cinematic photo I took. I wanted to capture Sigma's cel celestial realm. It's all real and caught in camera. The stars were created by flicking white and silver paint onto a black card with a toothbrush. I've used a fog machine and then lit it with some blue plastic sheets called gels over my speed lights. I used a yellow gel for the central flash to light the centre of the stars. I think it gives it a centre of the galaxy feel. Adding some troops to the front, the picture helps tell the story and give the main subject a purpose. And it also has the effect of creating depth. I painted my Lord Imperiton to be part of my Primal King Storm host. Yellow is my favourite colour and I thought it would be have more power if you used less. So I only painted a handful of the armour with it, the rest being grey. Purple is complementary to yellow and it's also associated with being regal. I added the white to help break up the colours without actually adding another colour to the mix. I don't use gold in this scheme usually, I save it for my heroes of the army, so it got used on this model naturally. This is my paint recipe card for my Primal King's Lord Imperiton. I painted the white fabrics with a Corax white base coat, then an apothecary white wash, followed by Fenrisian grey just in the recesses. Finally, this was highlighted by painting over it with Corax White. The metals are Iron Breaker Base Coat, which was then washed with a mix of Basilicanum Grey and Contrast Medium. And finally, this was edge highlighted with Rune Fang Steel. The golds are Liberator Gold Base Coat, and then a wash of Agaras Dunes Wash with a Rune Fang Steel Edge Highlight. I painted the purple fabrics using Xerxes purple and then a Shaiish purple and contrast medium wash, finally highlighting it with Jean Steeler purple. The yellow armour is a white undercoat and then a Yiril yellow base coat, a Yandan yellow wash, Yiril yellow layer highlight, a Flash Gits yellow wide highlight and then a dawn yellow edge highlight. The grey armour is dawnstone base coat, basilicanum grey and contrast medium wash, a layer of dawnstone was applied over the top before being edge highlighted with ad administratum grey. The griffhound body is a base coat of mournthang brown which was then washed with gore, grunter, fur and contrast medium mix. The edges were picked out with death claw brown. And then there was a wild wood and contrast medium wash over the top to add definition. The head of the Griffhound has a Balor brown base coat, which is then washed with Agros dunes. Balor brown is then painted over again and a more cast brown, a more cast bone edge highlight is applied. The beak of the Griffhound is Avalon Sunset base coat with a wash of Nasdreg yellow. Avalon Sunset was then painted as a wide highlight with an ungore flesh highlight over the top of that. Finally, a thinner edge highlight of flayed one flesh was applied. The blue feathers are Teclis Blue Base Coat, Talisa Blue Wash, Barafa Blue Wide Highlight, and a Corax White Edge Highlight. 
the lilac feathers are the Charla Lilac Base Coat, Magus Purple plus Contrast Medium Wash, Corex White Edge Highlight. The teal feathers are Baharoff Blue Base Coat with an Ethereumatic Blue Contrast Medium Wash. A Corex White Edge Highlight is finally applied. The cream feathers are Wraith Bone Base Coat with a Skeleton Horde and Contrast Medium Wash. Wraith Bone Wide Edge Highlight and then a Griff Hound Orange and Contrast Medium Wash over the top. Finally, there is a Corex White Edge Highlight. Uh, that's all for this uh, video. I hope you enjoyed this little insight into how I painted my Lord Imperitant and how I photographed it. Please give me a like and a follow and uh, don't forget to check out my eBay store in the description below. Thanks very much. Cheers.